at 630. We are tracking the tropics. It's an action packed start this year. It's hurricane season and right now we're following a developing disturbance. Plus we are looking at what's left of Hannah. CBS 4's chief meteorologist Craig Setzer joins us with an update now on the tropical storm. Craig. Francis, uh, it was just 24 hours ago that tropical storm Hannah, well, actually Hurricane Hannah, strong category one, was just making landfall there on Padre Island in Texas, and now it continues to weaken now down to a tropical depression. 35 mile an hour winds. Of course, the big thing is just going to be rainfall over the next day or so right here in the Rio Grande Valley and over the northeast mountains of Mexico. So flash flooding and a flash flood threat remains very, very high. Possibility that continues as we go through the early part of next week. There's a satellite loop through the day today. You can see the circulation, not as defined as it was 24 hours ago. Still there, though, winding down over that mountainous terrain. Now, the other system we've been talking about and watching, of course, Gonzalo, no more, but it's this disturbance out in the Atlantic. You can see it's kind of a big area of a swirl out here, so it's going to take a little bit of time to get more consolidated and exactly where that happens. We're not quite sure what, but certain, we're certainly going to be watching it. There is the position approximate right now, and then the Hurricane Center says there is a high likelihood of development to either a tropical depression or a tropical storm, and that within the next few days. And I think it happened anywhere along this track here toward the islands there. Here's the latest models and they'll get your attention if you haven't seen them because it's basically a westerly motion here. This is in the islands area sometime later on Wednesday, Thursday, and then by Friday, five days from now, that's the way the models play out. Now it's just way, way too early to talk about well, if it goes this way, is it going to hit uh, Hispaniola and weaken it? Or if it goes over here, is it going to curve out the sea? It's way too early to talk about that. Certainly something we're going to have to watch. Uh, the models here that are white, those are the models that have been more reliable recently. So they kind of stand out and, of course, get your attention. We'll be talking about one factor that may come into play in that disturbance coming up. And this evening, of course, it's looking a little bit stormy out there. More on that in our forecast and the tropics coming up. Craig, thank you very much.